The sequence function in Power Apps lets you create a table based on the number that you put in there. So if you do 10 here, you're going to get 10 records. I'm showing those in my gallery by setting this to the items property. If I change this number from 10 to five, now you get a table of five. So once you realize that it just wants a number here, you can change that. So for example, if I wanted to use the text input, I would do value text input one, right? So turn whatever's in the text input in there. So if the user types in three, they get three. If they type in seven, they get seven, etc. right? So you can make a dynamic number of records in the table. Sequence can also change the number that it starts from. So let's just change this back to a hard-coded three but then if we say hey I want you to start at 10 you can see that it's doing three 10 11 and 12 you can also change the step so if we do another comma here then we can say five and now it's going to count in fives finally you can get really fancy if you start to use sequence with add columns so here you can say take today's date and then give me the next five dates for the same day right so we're saying take five and zero so today's the 30th so give me 2 6 2 13 2 22 27 and so that is the add columns function being bolted in with sequence very powerful